They invent a whole story that's nonsense. Those bones right there, those aren't real bones. Those are chicken bones ground up and put together based on nonsense. Who's, who uh, first coined the term dinosaur? It was Sir Richard Owen of the Royal Society in the 1840s. Based on what you ask? Nothing. They had not discovered any bones. They created it. Who did he do it with? Aldous Huxley's grandfather. Who is Aldous Huxley, you might ask? Aldous Huxley wrote the, A Brave New World. He's a science fiction writer, and he comes from a bloodline that goes back in England that's based, that's very close to uh, royalty, and it's about um, energy and power cartels. So they come up with the thing called uh, dinosaurs. By the way, this is, this is mainstream history. Mainstream history, guys. So when these newspapers want to shame me and say, oh, Owen thinks a dinosaur is a Smithsonian lie. It is. Sir Richard Owen, named with Aldous Huxley's grandfather, came up with dinosaurs with no bones in the 1840s. That's it. That's when it all started. How many bones have they discovered since then? Zero complete skeletons and zero skulls. How many partial skeletons of T-Rex do they even claim? 12. They don't have bones. They've admitted they don't have bones. They take the fake bones and they make it look like they're fucking. And they say, according to the Smithsonian, despite the rarity of evidence, paleontologists know quite a bit about dinosaur gonads. So 66 million years ago, this is all a, uh, a, a, a spell. And that's why they have to stick to numerology so much. The extinction was caused by the impact of a massive comet or asteroid six to nine miles wide, 66 million years ago, which devastated the global environment. Mainly through, okay, they claim that chickens are now dinosaurs, that it evolved, they evolved to chickens, but yet they claim they were sent extinct an incalculable amount of time ago that happens to line up exactly with Talmudic and Cabal um, numerology spells. And then, of course, it plays completely into the fear porn that at any time, doesn't matter how big and strong you get, an asteroid can come any time and wipe you out. Now give us money. At least we had an asteroid. What's your excuse? You're headed for a climate disaster. But it's like a preposterous amount of money. And then the Rockefellers, Carnegie's, and Smithsonian will spend the next, and the Royal Society, started by Richard, uh, Sir Richard Owen and the grandfather of Aldous Huxley, are going to start the whole idea of a dinosaur without any bones, and we're going to push it on everybody that only began in the 1840s. Uh, now give us money. It's, it's like, and every time people find bones, um, they're not allowed to, unless it's they're, they're based on funding from the Carnegie's and the Rockefellers. And uh, give us the money.